So hello there people of YouTube and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you some Chromium based browsers. So say you don't really want to use Chrome and you want to use, well you sort of want to use a browser based on Chrome aka Chromium. Chrome is based on Chromium. I'm going to show you and tell you some browsers that are Chromium based that are a little bit different to Chrome like may have a little more features and you, you just don't want to use Firefox because you find it meh like me for example. So yeah, I don't use Chrome, well I do, but not on this PC. Very rarely these days. I mainly use Torch, as you may have noticed in my new video. So I've got a folder here, I actually downloaded some Chromium based browsers just for this video. I'm not in a virtual machine, it's just a whole different desktop, look I'll show you. But let's get on to it, I have a folder on this desktop, and you'll see some Chromium based browsers. And some of these I didn't know about, so some of these are like new to me. And there's probably more that I haven't downloaded. I'll just research some Chromium based browsers. So the first one is obviously Google Chrome. If you did not know that, it is Chromium based. Mine has a different icon because it just does. I like to customize stuff like that sometimes. You know, this is your basic Chrome. You know what Chrome looks like, you should. No, that's not a whole jack thing. Yeah, this is what Chrome is. Yeah. The new update of Chrome is a bit meh to me, this is kind of why I prefer Torch. I really like the new update of Chrome. This is just not right for me. Yeah, I think everyone knows Chrome because it's such a popular browser and it is Chromium based. Everyone knows Google Chrome but say you don't want to use Google Chrome because it's just not right or it doesn't work properly for you anymore. Or you just don't like the new updates of it, kind of like me. The second browser that is Chromium based I'm going to show you is Torch. This is my main browser. See, it looks like this when you open it. So when you open Torch, it has these and you can change it. You can search. I think the search engine is ask.com or something. At first I changed it back to Google. And this is just how I like it. You can get rid of that. You don't have to have that shown, but I do. And you can change this and also you can like customise this and you can still get the chrome if you want your chrome theme, you can still get chrome themes which is quite nice. And Torch lets you go on any downloading, well this works on any website. So say I wanted to just click a random video of my recommended, say I wanted to download this video, not that I really want to, you can just click this. So it downloads straight to your computer, this works on any website. And I find this quite useful because it's like the only way I actually trust downloading videos because other ways I don't trust for viruses and stuff. And this is if you want to do some tarotty, you don't have to go and download uTorrent or anything. I've never used this but you know if I ever want it, it's there. Quite useful if you do a lot of tarotty, you can do it right in your browser with Torch. And of course you can get things like Adblock, don't worry about that because of course it's Chromium based. You can get the Chrome Web Store and get the same apps what you get on Chrome and the same extensions so... Don't worry about that too much. The second browser I shall, shall show you is Komodo Dragon. I've used Komodo Dragon. It, it does come with, um, well, if you download the Komodo antivirus, it does come with that. But if you download the uh, browser on its own, it doesn't come with the antivirus if you don't want that. If you prefer AVG like me or something. But yeah. Let me show you Komodo Dragon. I've used this browser before. It's supposed to be like a secure browser. Maybe I didn't quite install it right. This is what. Wow! It looks more like Chrome now! Because it never used to look like this. So, yeah, this is what Komodo Dragon looks like. It's supposed to be like a secure browser. And yeah, you can still get the Chrome st Web Store. It blocks third party cookies by default, and Yahoo is probably a default search. You can just go and change that to Google. A bit more settings than Chrome usually has. You can add a new user, so it's all nice and Chromium based. So it has like its own theme on it, but you know, you can customise that to your liking. And there's this, what is this? Media Downloader. So I'm guessing it's something to download your media with, I don't know. Wait, this is some, I think this is where you scan to see if the virus, the website is uh, virusy. So, you know, it's useful. And I'm guessing that's to download videos, let me just quickly go and see. What's that? Komodo Share Page Surface. And you can share with Twitter from by looks of it as well. I'm guessing these are like security add-ons if you really want a secure web browser, like even more secure than oh god, not that dress fingers. Go away about that. Okay. Let's click on a random video, it comes up, there's just a bunch of Ted Swift. 
on pop music. Let's just click on the song. Oh, I'm guessing, I don't even know. If that doesn't let you download, I'm not sure. I, oh yeah, Prive Dog. I'm guessing this is something to like, you know, protect you from viruses and stuff. 16 threats blocked. See, yeah, it blocks like threats. So, if you want a secure web browser, here, Chromium based, is Opera. I actually had no idea this was Chromium based, but apparently now it's Chromium based as I've done my research of Chromium based browsers and this, this was coming up. Never knew this was. I thought it was made by Nintendo or something. I, I've never seen the Chrome store on here. Yeah, Opera's pretty popular. Not one of the most. Ugh, this browser's a bit slow, isn't it? We could be in my internet collection at the same time. I don't know. People like Opera. That dress thing is back. Why is that just. Yeah, Opera is a. I don't know what I think of it personally. I don't really like it that much. That's why I don't use it. I used to like it. I used to use it as well. The really old version of a Windows XP computer. I think you can get themes for Opera. You can customise it. You can customise this, which is quite nice. Ah, quite nice search here. Yeah, that search is quite nice. Looks like you can have little folders. Oh my god, that is actually so cool. Opera Turbo, which is apparently supposed to make Opera faster. You can customise that. Sure, you could put your own. I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> Continue where I left off. This is the reason why I used to like the browser, but you know, all browsers can do it. Anyways, let's move on. The next browser is SR Wave Iron. Never used this browser, so this one's completely new to me. Oh yeah. Oh, web search. Duck, duck, go. I know I'm duck, duck, go. Never used this browser, so it's completely new to me. It really does look like Chrome, like even more than Torch does. You've got no extensions, and you can even run this in Windows 8 mode, like Chrome. So this one's just basically like Chrome, but maybe a bit. Chrome extensions. This Chrome store looks different. Upload, download. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that browser. It's like, it's basically like really like Chrome, like really, really like Chrome. It's just like another Chrome browser. And the next one, however you say this, all bit, all bit, um, I don't know. I think this is the social media one. Some browsers load up faster than others. Oh, this one's because I can tell this is like the new Chrome update, which I'm not really a big fan. Yeah, this is a social media browser. So if you use a lot of social media, like Facebook, Twitter, I don't use Facebook, so I won't have need for this browser. And I don't use a lot of social media, so I don't have need for this browser either. So, you know, you can connect it with Facebook by looks fit and chat with your Facebook friends right from the homepage thing. You know, if you use Facebook a lot and you use a lot of social media like that, this might be the, a better browser than Chrome for you. And that's what that is, stupid Facebook chat. <laughs> and then that's just another social media in a different language that I'm not sure about. I don't have Facebook, so I'm just going to ignore that page. Your websites. This is what the new tab looks like. That's good in my way. I don't use Facebook. I don't have it anymore. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. But I, you can just get rid of what you don't use, so it's quite nice. Alright, this is 360 browser. When I first saw this, I thought of 360 antivirus. I think it's Norton antivirus. I don't even know. I don't use. Yeah, this is 360. It looks kind of looks like Cal Komodo Dragon Chromium based browser I used to look. Oh, that's quite nice. Adblock is actually pre installed on this browser. That is actually really, really nice feature. Because usually on like Torch and the other browsers I just showed you, you have to go and install Adblock yourself. It's optional, but I recommend it for sure. WebKit mode. Now you can go in IE mode if you really want to. I remember Maxon, a version of Maxon, it's not even Chromium based. You can go into IE mode. Why would you do that? I don't know. This, the homepage thing looks quite nice. I'll get rid of a lot of it, like Facebook, bye. You stupid. Don't you dare go to Facebook.com. I have never really used these type of pages anyway, so I have no use for them, but you know, if you like that sort of thing, you might like that. Let me see if, oh my god, this is such like the old Chrome, because that's got like spanner thing instead of free line. I need to check. Oh, wow. Well, this is what the sittings page looks like. It's so different. Um, our block is pre installed, which is quite nice, and it blocks proper pads, which is also quite nice, because I hate those. Oh, no, they don't block third party cookies by default. Although, I think they should. That would be nice, but you know, I like how it comes with Adblock. Let's 
just installed a random theme. Yeah, you can use the Chrome store in this browser and you can install themes and now it looks exactly like Chrome now with a theme. There we go. Yes! This browser's quite nice so far and then the theme is also here when you open a new tab. You can clear browsing data right from the new tab, which is quite nice. I was going to put these in my video, but then I looked up to see if I can download them, but then it's like, it's discontinued. So, that sucks. I could have showed you this. I could have showed you Rocket Mount. Yeah, it's the website for Rocket Mount. And it says it was shut down on the 31st of, of August 2013, apparently. So, yeah, there's that. And cool Nevo, I was going to show you about. It's probably open in my other. And I tried downloading this, and it's loading for millions of years. So basically, it just loads up as this. This page is not available because this browser is discontinued. So, yeah. I just randomly put those in there. Well, why not, okay? So, yeah, that was just basically some Chromium based browsers. If you don't want to use Chrome, but you want to use a Chromium based browser, like you want to get the Chromium add ons and themes. They're all good for different reasons, I'd say. But my favourite browsers here have definitely got to be Chrome, Torch, and 360 Browser. I've never used 360 Browser, but I quite like it now. And also, one I forgot to mention, I did try and download it, but it was really hard to download it, so I just didn't bother because I was never going to use it anyway. So, what's the point? It's Chromium Browser. It's basically called Chromium, and that's where all these browsers came from. Chromium. I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully if you're interested you can check out these premium based browsers. So yeah, bye!